if you want to see all the one all the one hundreds of videos I made for you you go to genesispc.com click on the videos on YouTube and you will see that I have something about Excel in general about Excel VBA about access in general access VBA and VB script and you will see an enormous listing of videos that you can just click on and train yourself to become a professional this chart simulates temperatures every year average temperatures in a certain area and it is based on randomness if we assume that the temperature issue is a random process in general that it fluctuates that results may vary then we can simulate that in Excel in this case I happen to have two extreme values recently and as you know if you know about randomness that does not necessarily mean that that's the result of global warming it just means that we happen to hit a high value recently two times but we also had a very low value so we are mimicking this each time in Excel with a random function each time I press F9 you will see that those extremes vary enormously so how did we create all of this column A is very simple it's just a bunch of years but in column B we made random temperatures around a certain mean with a certain standard deviation you can do that in Excel with the norm inverse function we generate the probability with the rand function which is a random number between 0 and 1 but we let everything fluctuate around a mean of 65 and a standard deviation of 10 so let's say that 65 happens to be the, 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 the temperature over all these years in general in this area in this region and then we copy that formula down and we plot all of that in this chart that is basically this curve so where do these curves come from and the extreme values they are in another column calculated in C and D column C calculates the 95 percentile or percentile and the column D the 5 percent percentile or percentile we use the, the percentile percentile function based on B2 for B66 that's the number of years I have uh, lock them with F4 so they will not change when you copy them down and it's based on the 95 percent percentile in the next column we do something similar but this time we use the 5 percent percentile okay then we add those two columns to the chart you can add them very easily by going right click inside the chart and select data and then you uh, add them individually then the next issue is how did we get these extreme values like here 2014 and 2013 happens to be high and these were the low hits and these were the peaks we calculated again another column and this time we use the if function if the temperature that year happens to be greater than the 95 percentile C2 then show me that temperature B2 otherwise don't show me anything and to do so we use the NA function NA open close parentheses something similar in the next column but in this case if the temperature that year is below the 5 percent percentile show me that temperature otherwise NA not available add that to all the values you have and this is what we get so we added all of that again as I said before select the data and we added those values so if you um, want to 
find out how did we get these labels, it will only do so that there is an, an extra curve here that you can't really see because I didn't connect them with a line, but they um, are really there and I put labels there. So you can do that with data labels. And then data call out I did. Okay. And then you can regulate in the data call out whether you want to show the year and the temperature or just the year and how many decimals do you want. I leave that up to you. That is a chart issue. So I just did the year and nothing else. Okay. So now we have a, a very flexible system. Each time I press F9, we go through all kind of settings. And as I said before, we happen to hit three peaks very recently. Does that mean it's global warming? No, in this case, it's just a matter of randomness. Results may vary, and we happen to get three peaks. This is a simulation of temperature. It, it uses beautiful formulas. It uses charts that update easily, and we get all of this. You, if you want to know more about this kind of issue, especially if you work in science, I would recommend either this book or this CD-ROM that is based on Excel 2013, and it goes into these issues and makes you a professional on all those items. Regression and curve fitting, statistical analysis, how do you plot data, it goes much more into how do you make these beautiful charts, and it goes into data analysis. GenesisPC.com will show you where to get them, how to get them.